up and this was actually a request from one of my subscribers and one of my customers. They wanted me to do the demo on the Frankenstein mold that we sell. Now this is just a plate without a rim. It doesn't have that lip on the bottom. So this is just going to sit right inside of the outside shell. You could push it up. It'll come all the way through. There's no lip holding that in place, which is perfectly fine. You don't need one. So you're just going to put that plate right down on the bottom. And then we're just going to fill a little bit like we usually do. Give it a little bit of a shake. And then we're going to give some presses. Okay, fill it up a little bit more. Some more little shakes. Again, I'm going to be adding some contrast color in embed powder. Keep filling, shake. If you wanna go ahead and give a little poke with your pinky finger on the two bolts that come out of the side of his head, because that may be a stress point for unmolding purposes, go ahead and do that. Take your plunger, which is blank on both sides. So it doesn't matter which side you use to press down, they're exactly the same. Put it down on the top and then give your presses Now be careful when you pick it up now, because remember that does not have a lip on it. So you do have to be a little bit more careful with this one. Taps like we always do, you guys. Taps on the top and taps on the bottom. So now I'm going to push up with the plunger, okay? So you see the thicker part is the plunger and then that is our bottom plate, right? So I'm turning that over, I'm pushing completely up with the plunger. Oopsie daisy, sometimes that happens, which is okay. Now we got a little bit of mixture stuck in his eyeballs, but that's okay, we can paint over that. Let me grab one of my handy dandy little flip plates. Yes, we sell those too. Soap-chef.com. I know this sounds like a really big advertisement, but from what I've been told, you should be talking about your business in your videos. Anyhow, this came flying off of there, so I'm going to slide him back. Take your flip plate. Turn it on. If you don't have this, use cardboard. That's what I've been using for years and years and years, okay? Turn it over. Take that bottom plunger piece right off of there. And I'll turn it over again just so you guys can see the top part of the design. And there's Frankenstein. And again, like I did get a little bit of mixture stuck in his eyeballs there. It happens. But you can't even tell. You can't even tell at all. You're going to paint that anyhow. All right, so there's Frankenstein. Okay, we have three different types of pumpkins. We've got one that has lines all in it and a face. There's the scary Halloween pumpkin, okay? So there's that. We have one that's plain with no scary face and just the lines, in case you don't want a creepy scary one. And then we also have an actual 3D one. So those are the three types of pumpkin molds that we have up on soap-chef.com right now. So let's put these aside, we'll do them one by one, okay? So again, this is another scenario where this is a bottom plate, but it does not have a lip on it, okay? So that's just gonna go down on the bottom and you're gonna place your outer shell just right up on the top. Fill it a little bit on the bottom, give it a shake, and then give it your presses to ensure all those details come out. And sometimes it does get stuck to the plate. It just does. That's just the nature of it. Don't worry. Take your time. I usually fill about halfway. And I'll put my contrast color in. So, hold on. Let me make a little divot, though. So I definitely want to make sure that my wet bath bomb mix surrounds the dry powder that I'm putting in here. If I don't do that, and this is my personal experience, again, 
I hate to sound like a broken record, but everybody is going to tell you something different. When I do it, and I just lay the um, dry bath bomb powder on the top of my moist mix, it always separates, always. All right, take your plunger with your design. So it's gonna have a design on the bottom and a design on the top. Take your plunger, turn it around, stick it on the top, and we're gonna give it the presses. All right, taps around the outside shell. Top and bottom, we're gonna give our taps. All right, we're gonna push up with our plunger all the way up. Now we're gonna take that top plate off, straight up and off. And there's the one side of our pumpkin with the creepy scary face. Grab one of your flip plates or your cardboard, turn it over. We're gonna lift straight up and off. This also has a design on it. So just go slow. And there's our pumpkin. All right, let's go ahead and do our pumpkin that just has the lines, but it doesn't have the creepy, scary face. Same principle. The bottom plate does not have a lip on it. It just sits right inside of the shell. Put a little bit on the bottom, shake. Give it your presses. We want those lines to come out on the bottom. Fill it about halfway. Make your little divot in the middle so you can put your embed powder in there. Keep filling, shake, fill and shake. Try to even it out a little bit so you don't have a lopsided bath bomb. All right, take your top plunger, which has your lines also, turn it over and stick it on the top. And then give your presses. Tap, tap, tap. All the way around the outside shell. Tap on the top plunger. I tap pretty hard, you guys. You'll see other people online go like this. And that's good enough. But I really want those designs to come out, you know? Turn it over and do the same thing on the bottom plate. We're going to push up and out with the plunger on the bottom. Just push all the way straight up and get rid of that shell. Now we're going to take our bottom plate up and off, straight up and off. And then we have our lines on our pumpkin. Grab your utensil, whatever that may be, whether it's your flip plates um, that you get from us or just use cardboard. Straight up and off with the plunger. And there is our pumpkin. Okay, let's do our 3D pumpkin now. I'm actually going to put this piece on the bottom because it has the stem hole. And I'm gonna give my pushes on that to make sure that that comes out. So that's gonna be our bottom cup. All right, fill a little bit, shake, push. And you're not smashing it down a lot just a little bit. Fill it up about halfway. If you have little clumps like that, just break them up with your hands. Make your little divot. Get your contrasting color of embed powder. Put that in the middle or on the sides, however you guys wanna do it. I just put it right in the middle. That's just the easiest and quickest for me because I have to bang out a lot of bath bombs. Every time I'm in bath bomb land, it's an all day and all night project. I do a lot of them. All right, I built that up as you guys can see because we've got this whole big cup that we need to fill. 
So turn your cup over, stick it on the top, give some presses. Tap around the shell. Tap on the top. Turn it over, same thing. Okay, so this one, we're going to definitely need our plunger because a lot of vacuum um, suction gets created when you have a bigger mold, especially if it's two cups as opposed to a plate and a plunger. A lot of suction gets created, so you're gonna need your plunger for this one. Stick it on top of your plunger and just push straight down. There you go. Now I'm gonna give another push, because you guys know, I don't like that Saturn ring. All right. And I'm gonna give it a couple of more taps. And maybe some on the sides as well. I can tell the difference by sound. When I know that the suction has been released, I can hear that. And you'll get better at it as you go along. The more you continue to make bath bombs, you'll get to know the sounds as well. So let's pull straight up and off with that bottom cup. And there's the bottom of the 3D pumpkin. Looks great. We're just gonna put it in our hand, turn it upside down, and just pull this straight up and off for the top. And there's our little divot where the stem goes up on the top. And there's our beautiful 3D pumpkin. That's beautiful. Where am I gonna put that though? Oh, I don't know. If only I had a, a somewhere to put something that's round so it doesn't get a flat bottom. Oh, that's right, I do have something that's round <laughs> to put them on. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put you right on here, buddy. There you go. All right, we got one more to do in today's video, and then I'm going to get moving on my own off camera. Like I said, I'm going to be in bath bomb land for quite a while, especially because we were just accepted into a really big holiday show at the end of the year, which we are very, very grateful for. But uh, boy, we got to start stocking up now. Okay. Next up is going to be our little ghost, okay? So this one does have a lip on it. You can see there's a lip going all the way around. So we're gonna put the lip on the bottom and we're gonna take our outer shell and stick that right up on the top. Now there's no reason really for us to give any pushes because there's no design on the bottom. I am gonna make my little divot. I'll go ahead and put my contrasting color in embed powder right in the middle. You don't need a lot for this mold. This is a little bit of a smaller one. I wanna say it's only like two and a half inches, I think. All right, fill that up again some more. Shake, fill and shake, fill and shake. All right, now we're gonna take our plunger, which does have a design on it. It's got his little face. Turn that over, stick it on the top. And give our pushes. Tap. And the reason why we do the tapping around the outside shell or cylinder, whatever you want to call it, is because it absolutely does. You do get bath bomb mix that falls down in between your cups or plates or plungers. And so then you can have a hard time unmolding because it can get uh, gritty and kind of stuck and it's not gonna slide as smooth. So that's why we bang on the outside to try to loosen up the grit. All right, let's push up and out with the bottom plunger. straight up and off with that bottom plate. Remember that does not have a design on it. Grab your flip plate or your cardboard, turn it over, 
straight up and off with your plunger. And there's our beautiful little ghost. Ain't he cute? All right, you guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Just a couple of the molds that I don't even know what we have up on the site anymore. I kind of lost track and then we went on vacation and so forth or whatever. But regardless of any of that kind of stuff, um, these, app, you know, if they're not already up on the site, they, they will be shortly. Um, and you can find all of these, including our flip plate set and our plunger and the bath bomb drying tray for your round spheres. All of those, everything here can be found up on soap-chef.com. We truly appreciate each and every one of you that support our tiny little small family run business. Um, it means the world to us. It really does that you guys are supportive of our business. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Um, again, that's going to do it for today's video. You guys, I have to get rolling. So take care of yourselves. Okay. Be kind and stay humble and we will get back together very shortly. I promise. Okay. Ciao.